what is static function how is it used so a static function is a function which is visible only in the file it is defined so a project can have a c project can have multiple files so if a function is declared as static then the function is available only inside that file it is not visible to functions in other files so static static function is visible only inside the file in which it is defined this is static function let us see what means uh, now first of all let us add one file here new file file new empty file so asking whether to add to project adds add to the project so give some name some name to it uh, okay try dot c so this is a new file now you can see there are two files in the project this is a project two files main c try c two files are there in this project in the other file that is try c let us have two functions first one is void void f1 it will do what it will do print print f print some message welcome from f1 nothing very simple function then let us have one more function void f2 it will display welcome from f2 <laughs> now this f2 what it will do is first it will call f1 first call f1 then it will call then it will display welcome from f2 f1 displays welcome from f1 whereas f2 first it will call f1 then it will display welcome from f2 then in main let us call both the functions f1 f2 okay let's see in the other file stop this confusion let us have one more file f3 or we can have this itself or one more file void f3 this will 
simply display uh, call all f1 that's all f1 so here the three functions f1 is print print f welcome from f1 f2 is welcome from f2 and f3 doesn't display anything it will simply call f1 now from main call all the three functions f1 f2 f3 now these functions are not in this file not in the main file so we need to declare external external void f1 external void f2 external void f3 then you can use it let us run the file okay some additional thing. okay i have to give new lines new line new line that's all run we call f1 which says welcome from f1 then we call f2 which says welcome from f2 then we call f3 also f3 simply calls f1 so again one more message welcome from f1 <coughs> suppose this f3 function i declare it as static f3 function i am declaring it as static then again run the program <laughs> it is displaying an error at the f3 call what is the error undefined reference to f3 means it says f3 is not defined not available so when you are calling f3 from main it says f3 is not available so here f1 f2 it is able to use from the other file of other file but f3 is not available because it is declared as static here static means that function is available only in the file it is declared not anywhere else so this is static file next is we will take one program bit we'll take an program bit so this uh, suppose there are two strings s1 is uh, delhi s2 is hyderabad str copy s1 comma s2 so what we did here we copied s2 to s1 so delhi also becomes hyderabad then display both the strings <laughs> let us display both the strings s1 s2 
So this is what we did. So there are two strings, one is Delhi and the other is Hyderabad. Then we copied second string to first one. So then both becomes Hyderabad. Display both the strings, Hyderabad, Hyderabad. Let us see what happens. So what happens when such a code is there? That is the question. If we have this type of, this type of uh, uh, code, what happens? That is the question. So what we can expect is, both cities, both the strings become Hyderabad. That is what is expected. Let us see what happens. <laughs> now some error is coming. Okay, this error is different. This is very different. Okay, this is correct. I think I got the question wrong. Actually, question there is a slight mistake here. The question is not this, but uh, actually these are pointers. Character star P1. Uh, character star P2. So these are two pointers. One is P1, other is P2. P1 is pointing to Delhi, P2 is pointing to Hyderabad. Then what happens? Same, we will copy both P1, P2. Run. It says some some error. This program is not able to execute. So the error is because the first one both are actually string constants. So you are, you are copying one string to another string constant. You cannot overwrite the string constant. So it is not executing. So that means this code will not work. So if they are pointing to string constants and you are copying one to another, this code will not work. But if those two are arrays, then the code will work. Now the code will work. The pointer it will not work. So arrays can be copied. Whereas pointers you cannot copy. 